it is a minus 30 outside in Montreal these days and it's going to be like that for the next week. So while I'm going to be doing this painting today, I will be killing it in my one piece with a reindeer and little hearts on it. <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pouring a two puddle pour on a 20 inch by 16 inch canvas that I've painted one side black and then one side white. And I'll be using a different kind of paint. For the white, I'm going to be using two brands of white acrylic paint. For the black, I put half of the Mars Black from this big bottle here. And the other one, I put the full bottle of black Thai multi-surface satin paint in here. Now, for the green, I'm using, um, it's called Glamour Dust Lime Light Ultra Fine Glitter Paint. Now, I'm not sure exactly what this looks like, so let's check this out together. Okay, so there's tons of glitter in there, and the glitter seems to be gold. So I'm just going to empty it out properly. Now I have that other little bottle here, bottle there because I wasn't sure what this would look like and if I needed to add more paint into it. It's very glittery. So let me just check this out. It's super grainy. You can feel the glitter in there. It's like sand. I don't know if you can see this. You can see around the bottle there. And you can hear it, right? You hear that? Oh my gosh, there's like sand in there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of this color here. Just a teensy bit. It's called foliage green. Oh crap, it's not even open. Sorry about that, I should have opened it first. <laughs> okay. So not too much because I don't want to take away from all that glitter there. So just a little bit. It just made it a bit lighter. So I'm guessing I'm going to have enough paint in there. So I'll be adding a Liquitex pouring medium to all of my paints. As usual, this is the only thing I'm going to be adding. And then I'm going to dilute the rest with water. So let me just finish preparing this and I am going for this. Alright guys, so obviously the black has completely dominated there. I'm a bit scared that I won't have a lot of uh, the green on that side because you can see it completely took over. And that's a new mix that I tried so, you know, I'm learning here, learn as we go. Now since there's more black here, I'm going to pour that side first. Up, down, and then the corners.
Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Alright, so I'm going to fix my sides. I'm going to give this some time and I will be back. About an hour later, the overall look is pretty cool. Some little things have happened, but not too many, which I'm happy about. I didn't want cells everywhere. And I'm trying to see that glitter in there, but the camera, the camera is not picking it up. Like I can't even like, it's so small. I said it was like sand, but it's even smaller than sand. It's super, super, super like it's microscopic. <laughs> I'm hoping that when it's dried, we'll see like a glitter effect. And I have to say that I was freaking out about those lines at first, but they're actually pretty cool. I hope uh, I hope when that dries, there's some kind of difference in texture. So overall look, I'm liking it. Don't know about you guys. Stay tuned for the dried result. And we'll see if that deco art glitter did anything at all. If we can see it when it's dried. All right. Bye, guys. Back with the dried result and I have to admit I'm really liking the overall look but I'm a bit deceived by this glitter paint here. Now if we look up close you don't really see it that much. It's so small so what it did is it kind of gave it like a little glossy varnish there. It looks like it's already varnished but that deco art glitter paint isn't really coming through. Now I was happy that they weren't huge pieces of glitter because I didn't want like a kid's painting but I would have expected a little bit more from that paint you know. Maybe if ever you try it out don't add any paint like I did into it. But I'm liking those lines there. The lines are pretty cool and they kind of shine. It dried exactly the same. And I'm liking the colors. So, two bottle pour. Hope you guys like this. Have a good one.